in the previous video we explored events associated with the movement of sun earth and moon let us understand how months of the hindu calendar are decided with the help of this model though hindu calendar is based on the cycles of the moon it tries to accommodate solar year as well in a single framework this is done by adding adhik mass or extra month every 33 months months familiar to us are as per the gregorian calendar which is based on solar cycle earth takes 365 days to complete one revolution around the sun these are divided into 12 parts each part is called one month some months have 31 days while some have 30 except february which has 28 or 29 days position of the earth along its orbit is also decided like 21st march 22nd june 22nd september and 22nd december months in the hindu calendar are based on cycles of the moon on this dial zodiac signs as per the hindu calendar are named like this mesh vrushab mithun kark sinh kanya tul vrushchik dhanu makar kumbh and meena just like gregorian calendar there are 12 months in the hindu calendar as well they are named as चैत्र वैशाख ज्येष्ठ आषाढ़ श्रावण भाद्रपद अश्विन कार्तिक मार्गशीर्ष पौष माघ एंड फाल्गुन लेटेस्ट टेक हेल्प ऑफ द कैलेंडर टू लर्न अबाउट द सेम मंथ इज एप्रिल एंड इयर 2021। ट्वेंटी इज न्यू मून और अमावस्या ऑन ट्वेल्थ एप्रिल let us position the moon accordingly time taken by the moon to complete one revolution from new moon to next new moon is considered as one month in hindu calendar we will start with gudi padma a festival which marks the start of new year when the sun is in meen rashi first month chaitra starts from the new moon phase that is amavasya 13th april is the first day of chaitra also known as chaitra pratipada there is a full moon or purnima on 27th april and amavasya or new moon on 11th may marking the end of first month chaitra each month of the hindu calendar has 30 days each day is also called as tithi but how duration of the day is decided moon orbits at a greater speed around earth angle between sun and moon continues to increase from 0 degree to 360 degrees from new moon to the next new moon phase if we divide 360 degrees in 30 equal parts each part will be of 12 degrees time moon takes to cover these 12 degrees is considered as one day और तिथि इफ मून ट्रैवल्स 12 डिग्रीज इट इज प्रतिपदा और फर्स्ट डे आफ्टर 24 फोर डिग्रीज द्वितीय और सेकेंड डे एंड सॉन ड्यू टू इलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट्स ऑफ मून एज वेल एज द अर्थ speed is different at different locations sometimes moon takes more time to cover 12 degrees while at other times it takes less this is the reason duration of a single day or tithi varies in hindu calendar it fluctuates between 20 to 27 hours approximately in gregorian calendar each day is fixed at 24 hours from new moon phase 
180 degree travel marks full moon. This part is also the waxing phase of the moon. It is known as Shukla Paksha. This part is called waning phase of the moon and is also known as Krishna Paksha. Tithi in Shukla Paksha is prefixed with Shuddha like Shuddha Pratipada, Shuddha Ditya, Shuddha Ashtami and so on. Tithi in Krishna Paksha is prefixed with Padya. Vadya Pratipada, Vadya Dvitiya, Vadya Ashtami and so on. Let's move ahead. Next month Vaishak starts from 12th May. 26th May is a full moon or Purnima day. 10th June is a new moon day or Amavasya. Start of another month just. In every month, sun transits from one Rashi to another. Like in the month of Chaitra, from Mean Rashi to Mesh. In Vaishak to Vrushab Rashi. And in Jeshtha to Mithun Rashi. If this transition does not take place in a particular month, that month is considered as extra month or Adhik Mas for that year. Twelve revolutions of the moon mark the completion of one year in Hindu calendar. First month of the next year, Chaitra starts from this position again. In year 2022, Chaitra starts on 2nd April, almost 11 days in advance than the previous year. This is because each month is only 29.5 days approximately. Moving on, in the year 2023, Chaitra month starts on 22nd March, 22 days earlier than the year 2021. If the same sequence is followed, we may have to celebrate Holi in monsoon and Diwali in summer. This is where extra month or Adhik Mas comes handy. Let us move on. Vaishak, Jeshtha, Ashad. 17 July is Amavasya or New Moon Day and Sun is in Karkarashi. Moon completes one cycle on 17th August, but Sun is still in Karkarashi. That means there is no transition of Sun to another Rashi during this period. This month is considered as extra month or Adhik Mas. Adhik Shravan Month after the same is considered as regular month, a normal Shravan, as per the earlier sequence. Now, Sun has transitioned to Siha Rashi from Karkarashi. Other months follow the sequence as usual. In 2024, Gudi Padva will be on 9th April, somewhat closer to 2nd April in the year 2021. Introduction of extra month or Adhik Mas enables synchronization of solar as well as lunar cycles in Hindu calendar. If one considers the start of Chaitra month for the year 2000 till 2010, Sun is always in Meen Rashi. Just like transition of Sun through Rashis, transition of Moon through Nakshatra is also worth exploring. We will learn more about it in the next video. Thank you.